All right, this is Susie. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. If you weren't able to make it to the meeting, the Wellspring Kids Ministry meeting, um, I appreciate you watching this video and just getting filled in with what we talked about today. First of all, thank you for serving with our kids. We really do appreciate you, especially as our kids ministry grows. Um, we just value all the help that we are getting. Um, one thing we mentioned today is we introduced Caitlin Ruga. Um, you might already know her. You probably got a text from her here or there, but she is now helping with the scheduling and um, she is going to be your go-to person. If you have a scheduling need or you need something changed, um, or if you aren't able to serve and find a replacement, she's going to be the person who's going to help you out. So find Caitlin. Um, you can find her phone number on the ser on the services app, on the um, church center app. You can message her directly through there, through our group. So you can definitely reach out to her. I'm sure at some point she'll text you. So you'll have her phone number and you could also text her. So Caitlin is new to our team and we're excited to have her. Um, scheduling is definitely a tough job. Uh, it's very complicated. It requires a lot of attention. There's a lot of people who back out and get sick and can't serve. And there's a lot of replacements that may need to be filled. It's, it's definitely our biggest challenge um, that we are facing at Wellspring, especially with the kids ministry. So um, this is why we're having this meeting is to really kind of try to clear some of the stuff up, try to make it a little easier so that um, we don't have so many complications trying to get everybody plugged into the um, schedule for Sunday. So um, we use these these two apps. They're connected. They're both through the same company. We use the Church Center app. You probably already have it. Hopefully you do. Um, so the Church Center app is for where we communicate. That's all our groups. That's how we communicate. It's kind of like a texting kind of thing that we can do through there. Um, it's also our events and how you can register. But for right now, we're going to just focus on how we communicate through the Church Center app. So make sure you have this app downloaded on your phone. Um, planning Center and Services, that is for scheduling. So that's how you will find all your scheduling information, where you, how you can see everybody else that's scheduled, all that kind of stuff. So that's all for scheduling. All right. So both of those apps are very helpful. If you can have both of them on your phone, that will definitely help you out. Um, we mentioned today how important it is to confirm. So most of you are doing a good job of that. Um, you will be able to confirm through your email. So you will get an email. Um, when we make up the schedule, they're gonna send out an email so you can just confirm right there. Um, if you don't get that email for some reason or you haven't confirmed through the email, you can confirm through the um, services app, uh, the scheduling app. And that really does help us out if you confirm because then we don't have to go back and just make sure those, those spots are gonna be filled. Um, we do send out a text on Monday if you haven't confirmed by the Monday before you serve on Sunday. Um, and then we're going to send out another text on Wednesday if you still haven't confirmed. But these texts do cost the church money, so we do appreciate it when people are already confirmed. It just helps us out and just one less thing that we have to do. So con confirmation does help us out a lot. Um, you can see if you're serving, like when, when the next time you're serving is right on the church center app. If you go to your profile, that little picture on the top, you can see when your next, um, time that you have to serve is, you can see all the events that you're about to go to. So, and just a little side note, it is usually the same week every month. We don't usually change things around without telling you. So if you're serving the second Sunday early service, that's generally what it's going to be unless we have to change things. And again, we'll let you know. So same Sunday same week every month. Um, if you can't serve, we do ask that you try to find a replacement. The best way to do that is go to that groups in the Church Center app, go to Wellspring Kids Ministry Volunteer Group, um, and then you can just post it right in there and just say, hey, I'm not able to serve this week. Could somebody switch with me or could somebody take my spot or something like that? That's going to be the best way to find a replacement, or if you know who's serving the following week, you look at the services app, you can check out who's serving on the following week. That's gonna be a great way for you to maybe just ask someone directly and say, hey, I see you're serving next week, do you mind switching with me? So that would help us out immensely if you can find your own replacement. And please just let Caitlin know, hey, I found this person, they're gonna replace me, and she can switch you on the schedule. Um, we are going to ask that, if possible, if you're willing to turn on your notifications for the Wellspring Kids Ministry Volunteers Group. That way, 
um, if there is a need, you will see it and maybe you can jump on there and you can be willing to kind of make that replacement or you can jump in. Um, that would really help us out. So I'll show you real quick how you can turn on your notifications for the Church Center app. You're going to go to the app and here's where the groups are right here. You can see all the different groups and you are going to find your profile right up here. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you to my church center. And here it says, hello, Susie, my profile settings. You're going to click right up here on that. And it's going to take you to profile and settings. So you're going to go down. Hello. Hi, Lila. You're going to go down to notifications right here. And then you're going to click that. And then it's going to take you to all your different groups that you have. And you are going to click on Wellspring Kids Ministries. Um, ministry volunteers click on that that's the group you want notifications for and then you can hit um, what you want what you're willing to get notifications for so new resources I'm going to turn on messages I'm going to turn on the replies for the messages I don't really care about the reactions necessarily but and then I'll do members but you don't need that um, so definitely the messages would be very helpful if you had that turned on so you get a notification for that. Now you have to have your notifications on for your actual phone. So for iPhone, um, I'll show, show you how to do iPhone. I have no idea how to do an Android because I don't have one, but I'm sure you can figure it out. It's probably pretty similar. So go to settings. You're just going to go to notifications. And then you're going to find the app that you want notifications for, Church Center app. And then you are going to decide how you want your notifications. Do you want it to bing or do you want it to tell you right away or do you want to schedule? I have it scheduled for 930 in the morning and 930 at night. I just get a little pop up two times a day to let me know what's going on in this in this app. OK. All right. A few things we talked about at the meeting, just some extra things, uh, just a reminder to wear lanyards. If you can, they are in the classroom and they are extra ones are in the hallway. Um, at least wear it just in the beginning of class so the parents know who the teachers and the helpers are. Um, number two, we ask that no more than two teen or preteen helpers are serving in a class at one time. So if you are in the nursery and there's a whole bunch of teens or preteens in there, you feel free to, to weed some of them out. Um, we do ask that the minors fill out an application so that they can be on the schedule and um, that they can serve um, that way but even if they're not on the schedule today we still want them to fill an application so that they have all that taken care of also in the nursery we do ask that you sanitize the toys and the baby items especially if kids are putting things in their mouth um, and just a reminder that there's labels available for diaper bags and there's some labels for the cups and everything else um, another thing that we talked about is how we ask that if there is a problem with um, behavior of one of the children, let's say one of the kids hits somebody or is really terrible that day, um, we ask you to go to me, um, the children's ministry leader, or one of the check-in um, helpers, and they can communicate with the parents. So you'll, you can leave the negative communication for us. We get the fun job. But anything positive, anything good that had happened with the kids, we do encourage you to talk to the parents about that. Let them know the good things that the kids did. Um, number two, let us know if you see any needs or supplies for the classroom. We were, we were happy to buy supplies. Um, and if there's something special you need, like a craft or something from Oriental Training, we can also order that for you. Number three, all volunteers are expected to attend church services on a regular basis. Um, we do ask that you are just a part of church, um, that you're learning and growing, and you're just a part of the church family. Um, that is easy to do since we have two services. So you, even if you were serving every week, which I don't think anybody is doing that, but that would be great if you wanted to because you could still go to the other service. Um, number four, if you're willing to be a substitute, if you're willing to serve more than that once a month, um, and you're willing to kind of jump in and be on our substitute list, um, please let Caitlin know because she has an ongoing list and that makes it very easy for her to kind of just text somebody, you know, if somebody backs out the night before, she has a list to go by. All right. 
Another thing that we discussed today is some resources that are available to you. Our policy is on the Church Center app under groups, under our group, the Wellspring Kids Ministry Group, and then it's under resources. So I encourage everybody, if you haven't already, or maybe you need a re little refresher about our policy, it's a lot of information in there, a lot of good information about how we deal with things, what's our policy on things, um, how we deal with discipline, how we deal with sickness, how we deal with bathroom things, all kinds of stuff. So please read that over. Um, and then also in the services app, um, a great resource, the teachers already know about this, but even if you're just helping, the lessons are attached to um, that Sunday's date. So go to Sunday morning services and then go to the date that you want. And under attachments are the lessons for the day and the videos for the day. So we encourage you to read that even if you're just helping. There is a teacher's devotion on that day and it'll just get you prepared for the day and remind you to pray for the kids and, and just be ready for the lesson. So that is available for everybody. Um, just a few things from the policy. Again, the policy is too long to go over, but just a few things that we're going to mention is um, the bathroom procedures. Um, we do ask you that you use the hall bathroom, not the bathroom that's in the lobby, not the public bathroom out there. Um, we, it is recommended that a female worker walk a child to the bathroom, or you can have a check-in volunteer walk them to the bathroom. Um, we ask that you don't leave them unattended. So even if it's someone a little older and they know how to use the bathroom by themselves, we ask you to kind of stand in the hallway to make sure they get back to the classroom and they don't get lost out there. Um, if they do need help, we ask that you stand outside the door, leave the door open if you go in to help them. Um, just so that there's no conflicts there um, and no issues with that. So leave the door open if they're a little younger and they need your help. Okay. And then we talked about discipline a little bit just to ask the um, check-in volunteers or you can ask myself if there's any issues. But um, also just know that you're not alone. So if you do have some issues in the kids, you get a little overwhelmed and there is maybe a more difficult child, the check-in people are ready to help take that child out of the classroom, take them a little walk, maybe talk to them and just help out. So just grab one of the check-in um, helpers for that. All right. And then the last thing we're going to mention is that loving our kids is the top priority. We don't want people stressing. We don't want people going crazy back there. Um, as much as education is important, and we, of course, love um, that we are teaching these kids about the Bible and teaching them about Jesus, it is more important that we love them. So if the kids are having a tough time, they're not paying attention to the lesson and things are getting out of control, it's okay by me if you stop everything and you turn on some music and you just start dancing and having fun and just loving on the kids because we really do want to show these children love and we don't want to be so regimented that um, we are getting stressed out and the kids will sense that. So we want our kids to have fun. We want them coming back. We want them bringing their parents back. We do believe that the parents are going to be the best teachers in their life. So if the parents are in church and they are learning and they are growing, then they are going to be um, teaching the kids um, on a regular basis. So that is important to us. So again, make it fun and make it about love. Um, and number two, we want you to be serving as an act of worship. Um, we might not always do the best job letting you know how much we appreciate you, um, but we do hope that you are working for the Lord, that you're excited about what's going on at Wellspring Church and all that God is doing so that we ask that you do this just as an act of worship. Um, we ask that you don't feel like you're missing out on church when you have to serve, but that is part of church. Um, being able to, it's just a different part of church. You might not be actually in the sanctuary, but you could be worshiping and learning and growing and being with the family um, when you're back with the kids. So just want to encourage you with that. We want to thank you so much for serving and for all that you do. We have an amazing team, an amazing group of people, and we just thank you for being a part of it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you answer any questions that you have. And again, thank you.